Well, welcome back to K Dog's Movies. This time I thought I'd take a look at a film that's kind of been forgotten about over the years and it's never really gained a lot of uh, popularity except in its time. And it was a fairly decent movie when it came out. And when you look at the people behind it, you're wondering why didn't this film. Uh, take off like it did, or is, or is it well remembered uh, like so? Uh, the film is directed by Michael Crichton. So, if that doesn't ring any bells, Jurassic Park people. Uh, but uh, this was back in the days when uh, Michael Crichton was still trying to do things that were medical science uh, thrillers and his first, one of his first movies that he ever got made based on his book, uh, he didn't direct it, but uh, based on his book was The Andromeda Strain. But this is a film from 1978, released by MGM, starring Javier Bujold and Michael Douglas. It is 1978's Coma. Yeah, from 1978. Film stars Javier Bujold as and uh, Michael Douglas, and they are um, resident surgeons at uh, Boston Memorial Hospital. And some strange things are happening within the hospital when a number of cases of specific patients are slipping into comas basically brain dead for no apparent reason. These are healthy people just going in for routine surgeries and not coming out alive. And Javier Bujold uh, plays Dr. Susan Wheeler. She is she starts to investigate that something's not right here after one of her friends goes in for a for a surgery that should have had very, very little complications coming out brain dead. She slips into a coma and doesn't wake up. And she begins to wonder what happened. Is it was it her fault or you know what's going on or did something go wrong in the procedure? And it's and it's almost passed on, you know, just overlooked and like this was a mishap and nothing really happened. Well, then a 31 year old male comes in with an injury. Uh, he's fairly healthy, just needs a surgery to repair. He needs an emergency surgery to repair his leg because he, he hurt his leg. He winds up dead as well. Brain dead. And so Javier Bujol thinks that, begins to think, well, maybe something's going on. And so she starts answer, asking questions around the hospital uh, of what's happened, you know, in previous cases, all the cases that's passed away that's in the hospital, because they've had a number of them, but what's going on here? And then she begins to look and investigate of what entirely is going on. She eventually finds out that there is something going on, and uh, she starts to tell her... Um, her boyfriend, played by Michael Douglas, that, hey, somebody is killing people. Somebody's killing people. And even Michael Douglas' character said, well, it's, it's this happens all the time. This isn't anything, um, it's not a, con it's not a, it's not a, something that, it's not normal, but it's, it's something that happens all the time. So, you know, just look over and or go see the chief surgeon. And so Javier Bruchel goes to talk to the chief surgeon about this. And again, he 
he's trying to dismiss her as, you know, say, well, maybe it's just a figment of your imagination and things go things go wrong and blah, 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 blah. And so sends her to a psychiatric treatment in which she comes out perfectly fine. And then you also have the chief anesthesiologist, played by Rip Torn, coming in and... Um, she wants to think that it's, they know that it's something with the anesthesia and she wants to pass the blame on him. Now maybe he's up to something. But then later find out that the bodies of these people who have passed away end up at another facility called the Jefferson Institute in which uh, Dr. Wheeler, Susan, uh, uh, Javier Bujold's character, uh, goes to take a tour and sneaks off and investigates that that they are harvesting these people's bodies for illegal practices. I'm not going to tell you everything because I kind of want you to check this movie out for yourself if you haven't seen it. Uh, it, has, it has some very good suspense. Um, uh, of course, it has a payoff at the end that is very... To some people, it wasn't very satisfactory. I found it satisfactory, to be honest with you. And it's... Because um, this was kind of in the, the period of pro-feminist movement. And so when you see Javier Bujold's character, she's very um, independent and... So when you see Michael Douglas's character in the film, he's like, he's just telling her about his day, that he's had a rough day, and go get me a beer before you start dinner. And then Javier Bujol is very much independent, says, get your own doggone beer. <laughs> and like, you can do it yourself. Yeah, it's... And of course, at the end, when he finally believes her and that something is going wrong and the setup to capture the real suspect of this film is had, to me was very fulfilling that when you see the villain he realizes that he's been caught and um to be honest, I think this film's kind of an underrated film, to be honest, because it's not a film that gets talked about very often. It was a popular film, actually, at the time. It was a very successful film. Uh, you know, it was... But it, it's, it just hasn't had that... Uh, it just doesn't have the the staying power or the memorability power as let's say some of Michael Crichton's other movies like The Andromeda Strain or Westworld or um, Jurassic Park uh, you know but um, it this and plus this movie was made way before ER was a TV show and of course Michael Crichton produced the ER TV show and I don't want to say it has an ER type vibe, vibe because it really doesn't. It's very, very uh, much like a crime or a thriller, while as opposed to ER as a TV show was very much. Um, it was very much a uh, medical show, specifically medical drama, while this was a medical thriller, and so you know where people's lives are in peril by the hands of the doctors and so it's a movie I do recommend you check out it's um, it is a little 70 ish it doesn't uh, some of the stuff doesn't hold up very well but the suspense I think really does because you're trying to find out who who is doing what who is the person at fault and um, yeah, uh, if you can find this on, uh, 
you know, HBO Max or, a, you know, a DVD copy or Netflix or whatever, whatever your favorite viewing per ha habits are, it is available on Movies Anywhere. So, yeah, do check it out. Coma from 1978. So, from me to you, see you later. Somebody's getting away with murder.